For today's lab, you are going to set a standard curve to determine your patient's total serum bilirubin. So to do that, you have to have some known quantities of bilirubin in the serum, and you're gonna use this device called a colorimeter to actually make your standard curve. So you can see there is a slight variation in the color, the yellow color. So as more and more bilirubin is present in the serum, it should be a darker and darker color. And so we're gonna measure something called absorbance using this colorimeter. So the light, you can see the light bulb here, the light will shine through your sample and uh, will tell you how much of the color is being absorbed. The darker the color, the higher the amount of absorbance. Okay, so this is what your setup looks like. You need distilled water, one of all the knowns, and then make sure you transfer um, from the stock bottles to these little guys called cuvettes. So here is a cuvette filled with the distilled water, and then you will use a different pipette. Here is a cuvette with the bilirubin serum. Notice there is a ribbed side here, and there is a smooth side. So some of the cuvettes are like that. It's very important that you put in the smooth so the light can just go right through there. So here's how you do that. You open the lid and then you'll push it in and then you will close the lid and the light will shine through there and you will get a reading, okay? So I will show you more of that in a second. Once you transfer from the stock solution into the cuvette, you should make sure you keep very good track of what's in each cuvette. So you can see here, I've made this little paper for you, very simple, distilled water and so on, so that you can keep track of the um, known bilirubin serums. Okay, so here is the colorimeter and the iPad that will read the colorimeter reading for you. Let's start with the iPad. When you get the iPad, you're going to click on Start New Experiment. You don't want to save any changes from the old one. Sensor data. And then give it a second. If it's not reading this, it's because you need to turn the power on. So you can see the power button is right here in this upper corner. You just hold the button down, light will flash. And then voila, it will find, they will find each other, right? Bluetooth. So the serial number is on the colorimeter. It matches on the iPad. You simply click on it. It will connect. Uh, for this, because our bilirubin serum is yellow, you want to do the opposite on the color spectrum. So click out of red and you want to do blue absorbance. Then you will click on digits. If it doesn't ask you to calibrate, you're going to want to definitely calibrate. So you're gonna go right down here to where it says blue absorbance. So that's a good way to double check that you selected the right thing. You'll click, whoops, click there, and then calibrate sensor. So to calibrate sensor, this is what you're going to use your distilled water for. So it's very simple. You're gonna open the colorimeter and you are going to wipe down the distilled water cuvette Make sure there's no smeary marks. And then again, make sure the clear sides allow for light to go through, give it a little push, and then hit calibrate. When the check mark appears, click done. And now it is ready for all the other readings. So you will remove the distilled water and you will take the next cuvette, close the lid, Again, I would clean off the outside. You don't want any moisture and no fingerprints. You can see this one has both the smooth side and the not smooth side. So make sure you open and line the smooth side up so the light can go through. Click the lid in place and then you just hit start. Then you will record your result. The absorbance reading has stabilized at 0.327% absorbance and you will move on to the next cuvette. You can stop in between the readings if you'd like. Be sure to record the percent absorbance for each known sample.
And again, make sure everything aligns correctly and there's no cross-contamination. Once you've collected all the data and the table is complete, you will then make your standard curve and use it for your patient.